Yes, sometimes. What's the matter? Never been to summer camp before? Never. Kind of old to be starting now, aren't you? I figured it was a time. I did something on my own. What's camp like? It's a real experience. It's kind of like Warble with lunch breaks. I'm a vet. Edward Ogilvy's my name. My friends call me off. I'm Chris. Chris Watkins. Francois, Francois Jones. Slap me soft, bro. He saw a rerun of the Pink Panther, and now he thinks he's a French cap I am the best. See? This year it's bound to be weird. How come? No, Honor. You know anything about him? Not much. He got the camp in a card game in Atlantic City. He won the camp in a card game? No way. He lost the game. The old owner got his mobile home and stuck him with bottom end. What's this new guy's name, anyhow? Uh, Bassett. Yeah, that's it. Hardy Bassett. Boy, do I hate kids. The bus is coming, Mr. Bassett. That's... That's Bass... Bass Hay. Couldn't go and notify the airport of that disaster. <laughs> ah, fearless leader. Oh, oh. Hello, Lalo. I was just practicing a little... Self-defense in case we run into interlopers or, or wolverines or, or a giant, giant squid. You trying to tell me, Lalo Nardine, your trusted assistant, that you are afraid of teeny-weeny Pop-Tart kids? Af afraid? Not I. I'll, I'll kneecap them before they can get near me. That's a little extreme, don't you think, sir? These are boys uh, between the ages of 7 and 14. Hitler was on only 12 when he came into power. Holster, please. Okay, then maybe, maybe he was 13. 14 with a glandular condition. For the new warden, I mean, uh, head counselor Hardy Bassey, and the entire staff, we'd like to welcome all the new inmates, I mean, uh, campers, to Camp Bottom Up. <laughs> the institution dedicated to brotherly love. And remember, you don't love yourself, you can't love anyone else. And if you don't love yourself, your hands have no business being where they are. Okay, head them up and move them up. <laughs> okay, thrill seekers. <laughs> you got your bunks, you got your exotic designer camp bottom out t shirts. I'm <laughs> sorry, the alligator couldn't make it. Early arrival never misses the seat. <laughs> From now on, during assemblies, I want you all to line up according to size. Get it? Got it? Good. Oh! Hi there, little person. <laughs> you, you're hiding something behind, behind your back, aren't you? You, uh, gonna tell Uncle Hardy what it is? Uh-uh. 
You want Uncle Hardy to guess what it is? Uh-uh. Oh, maybe you just want to get, give it to Uncle Hardy. Uh-uh. But Uncle Hardy wants, wants to... Uncle Hardy wants to see it. Uncle Hardy gets very nervous when little persons hide things from him. <laughs> okay, give it to me. No. Give it to me. No. Let me have it. Chris, you got a girlfriend back home? Girlfriend? No. Why not? I don't know. Girls do funny things to me. Like? They make me break out in a rash. Hey, Chris, you ever do it? Eat? Uh, no. Well, almost once. Did you get a bra? No. Did you get a handle for blouse? Uh-uh. Top of field? Not exactly. Jeez. You gotta learn to be more aggressive, Chris. This has got to be our summer. We. This gotta be it. Right. We've all gotta do it before this summer's over. It? With a girl? Absolutely. But there are no girls here, Og. You got a quarter. Over the lake. There it is. Feast your eyes on those, pal. Behold, Camp Bountiful. Our next door neighbor filled with girls. Girls. Gee, many of them older women. 16, 17, and 18 years old. And we're going to do it with some of them. We are? Yep. Are you sure they'll let us? Well, we should be able to cop a feel or two. Maybe even kiss one. So that's our goal this summer. Agree? Sure. We. Let's swear on it. Do it or die. Do it or die. This land is my land. That land is my land. And that land's gonna be my land. You sent for me, Daddams? Yes, Chadwick. <laughs> I was just admiring the view. The majestic pines, the rolling hills. Just think, son. One day all of this will be one big parking lot. Sort of chokes you up, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, son. My stockholders have given me a mandate. They said, J. Frothingham Skinner, go out and buy that land and plow it under. That's just what they expect me to do by summer's end, my boy. And if I don't accomplish it by this time, you know what will happen to me. You'll feel ashamed and embarrassed. I'll be replaced as president, idiot. And you'll have to go to work. What's work? Oh, oh no. <laughs> exactly. So you and I will have to spend all summer trying extra hard to create Skinnerville. The mall to end all malls. But, Daddams, you don't own that land. Minor detail. Momentarily, my secretary, Miss Renoir, will be returning shortly from Camp Bottomout with some favorable news. Uncle Hardy. Okay, you pint-sized provocateur. Honey, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be on vacation. I want to help you make a go of this camp, Granddad. You know you're not very well organized. Oh, nonsense. You know I am organized. And, and incidentally, this is your last vacation before going to college. You're supposed to be enjoying yourself. But, Granddad, I want to help. And this camp, 
is no place for a young lady. There's, there's a question of gonads, you know. Oh, come on, Granddad. These kids are too young for that. You can't tell. There could be a, a midget lurking in the ranks. I could be social director. But we have a social director, honey, Billy Wanky. Billy Wanky? He's a convicted child molester. And he'll work for free. Oh, Granddad. Now, not another word. Well, I, I guess I see your point, Granddad. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Miss Randall, how did it go? Hi, Miss Renoir. Well, how did it go? It can't bottom out. Oh, bad news, sir. I took the check as you instructed, but the camp has a new owner. Seems like a tough cookie. The one thing we must maintain is our composure. We must deal with this new wrinkle like mature, experienced business people. <laughs> Are you okay, Adams? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay, now here's the moment you've all been waiting for. Roll call. And here's a chance to meet the new owner of Camp Bottom Out, a man who needs no introduction. <laughs> oh, always the kidder. Oh, Jennifer, could you help me, please? Uh, now, this is where I get to meet all of you. When, when I call your name, step forward, okay? Uh, Egbert, Egbert Ogilvy. Oh, uh, well, I, I see that this is your seventh summer. You, uh, Egbert, do you like it here? I like it anywhere I can get it. <clears throat> I mean, the camp. Not much. It pretty much sucks. Get back in mine, Egbert. It is cheap, though. I'll remember you, young, young Ogilvy. Uh, Chris, Christopher Watkins. Oh, Chris Watkins? Yes, brown eyes. They're blue, and I want to keep this relationship formal. He's, he's off, son. Uh, Spears Jessam. Uh, that's an interesting uh, haircut you have there, young Jessam. Reminds me of a, of a hoover I once uh, had. Eat shit. <laughs> Would you talk to your mother that way, son? You bet. <laughs> Granddad! Uh, 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 I was just measuring him for his uh, camp tie, dear. <laughs> oh, uh, you wouldn't mind choking, uh, checking the rest of the lads, would you please? I, I've suddenly become very, very tired. I might want to take a nap. Die in my sleep if I'm lucky. Francis Jones? That's Francois, mon petit maman. <laughs> How many times have I told you not to phone home without first leaving a quarter there? Now you just scoop. Go in. Scoot, scoot, scoot! And from the looks of you, it wouldn't be a, a local call either. Bullseye. 
Just th thinking of you. Bullseye. I don't know why I ever married you, a widower with a grown granddaughter. I gave up a lucrative career as a waitress at the Dew Drop Inn just to stay at home with you, but you're never there. Yes, dear. What do you do? You carouse. Yes, dear. You drink. Oh, yes, dear. You gamble. Yes, dear. You lose our mobile home. Yes, dear. I know you want a divorce, and I want one too, but I will not divorce a pauper. I want alimony, and this is your last chance to raise it. Yes, dear. If you don't raise enough cash to keep me in alimony for the rest of my life... What do you mean, raise your money? I can't raise anything. You'd better not lose this land like you lost our home, Hardy, or I'll make your life a living hell. No, dear, I promise I won't part with this land. No one will pry this property from my grasp. Hello, little men. My name's Billy Wanky, and I'm a pro. I know how to handle you guys. Is he kidding? Now, what we're going to do is a little something, because I know you're all a little stiff from your ride up here. We're going to do a little exercising before Din Din, okay? What is this, booty camp? It's called aerobics, and we'll just put on a little bit of musy poo. Good. Better. All right, you mothers, just do everything I do. Huh? Let's get it on. Go do it, huh? Everything that you keep it moving. Is this supposed to be fun? It is a flow. We've been crazy. Huh? Another point. Right? Right? Stand up. Up. Down. More. Up. Down. Hands up. Hands down. Up. Down. I don't know. I think it's now yoga. Wait, men, men have been fired for a less. What? Okay, that's enough. On your feet, everybody. Playtime is over. Uh, will somebody call me an ambulance? You are an ambulance! This is gonna be a, lo a long summer. Miss Renoir, send in my son. <laughs> Hi, Adams. Chadwick, come, sit down. I don't think that's quite the type of alligator shirt your mother had in mind when she was teaching you to be stylish. But it doesn't eat much, Dad. Can I keep him? Can I? Yes, Chadwick, yes. <laughs> uh, now, Chadwick, about that camp across the lake. You know I want it. Yes, Dad. You know I'll get that land. Yes, Dad. I'm having a bit more difficulty convincing the owner to sell than originally planned. But the man has a weak spot. His granddaughter. She's the only family he has left. She's young. She's pretty. She's single. You follow me? Sure, Dad, we're two. I want you to charm that girl. Romance her. Marry her. I have until summer's end to get my hands on that property. Now, if my only son were married to that land, so to speak, 
It'll make my task a lot easier. I want you to seduce that girl. Got it? Any questions? Just one thing, Dad. What does seduce mean? So what'd you do in the summer when you didn't go to camp? I don't know. I never had much fun as a kid. And now, with my forks splitting up, I'll have to be the man of the family when I get home, I guess. Oh, you're not that bad off. You just have to learn to go after what you want. And what we want is girls, right? So don't get uptight. Go to it, Romeo. Let me help you, Miss Bassett. It's Jennifer. I know. Uh, I'm awfully glad that you'll be staying with me us this summer, Jennifer. Well, I'm glad, too. Chris, isn't it? Be careful with those bags. They're heavy. What's in there, anyhow? Melon. Huh? Something wrong? Uh, no, no, nothing's wrong. I like your melons. Any melons. Melons. I like to eat fruit. Food. Stuff you eat. Uh, do you have a boyfriend? No, not anymore. But you did. Uh-huh. We broke up, though. Well... You know what they say. Some guys have it. And some... Oh! Are you all right? Fine. Don't worry about me. I mean, don't drop your melons. I mean, watch your melons. I mean, gotta go. Bye. Lalo Nardine at your service, Miss Bessie. Oh, Lalo, I wanted to ask your advice about something. <laughs> Good move. Anything for the cause. That's what I always say. <laughs> I wanted to rent some films for the boys, but I don't know what kind to get. <laughs> Why don't you get them a couple of stag films? Hmm, stag films. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. I'll get one for tonight. Dinner is served. <laughs> what is this? I don't know, but mine still has feathers. Mine? Curry. I think it likes you. <laughs> Okay, now that I got your attention. <laughs> oh, let's all bow our heads and pray for a speedy recovery. <laughs> but seriously, <laughs> let's like to introduce you to our camp reverend, Mustafa Kork. And he's gonna lead us in a short Thanksgiving ceremony. Dig what you can get. <laughs> there are no virgins around here. <laughs> what a <I> care. <laughs> Anyhow, before we dig into the mystery mouth-watering substance, I have a few announcements I'd like to make. Now, 7.30 tonight, Nurse Bridget. <laughs> will administer antidotes to tonight's meal. And then, later at 8 o'clock, we're going to have a steak film. All right. But first, before we chow down, let's have a big hand for our new kitchen general, Mr. Guy. <laughs> Hey, kids, what time is it? Six o'clock. Mine says 6.05. Do you want Eastern or Pacific Standard Time? No, kids. It's time for Mr. Guy's dinner party. At the end of the day, when the sun goes away, I can feel my tummy rumbling. I can almost hear it say, Good stuff, and I'll grow up to be rough and tough. All together now. Be, 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 be good stuff. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see that some of you survived tonight's meal. <laughs> As a capper to tonight's entertainment, a first for Camp Bottom Out, and maybe last, we're going to have an honest to goodness stag film. Okay, this should really start those campfires blazing. <laughs> Jennifer, if you please. <laughs> Camp Bountiful, here we come. Hey, mademoiselle. <laughs> when we get to the middle of the lake, we all have to lie face down. What for? So if anyone spots the canoe, they'll think it's empty. Then how do we get to the other side? I've calculated the tides and we should drift right over. Okay, let's go. 
I feel like falling in love tonight. I don't feel like falling in the lake tonight. All right, down. See, we're moving. Hey, Og, lakes don't have tides. Do they? Okay, so I goofed about the tides. Nobody's perfect. I don't know much about camps, but this doesn't seem to be much of one. That's half the fun of it. We in, there are not so many rules. What do you do to have fun? Improvise. And you go to the nurse's office a lot. Woo! <laughs> I don't get it. Let's try off, and then we'll show you. Too? He's probably in a lot of pain. Are you in a lot of pain, son? Uh, um, mm, 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 mm. Poor thing. All right. Chris. All right, Chris. Come inside and we'll check you out. And you boys, wait there. Okay, Chris, off with your pants. My, my, my b -b -b band. I know it must hurt, but we have to make sure it isn't serious. Funny, those two boys you were with kicked each other a lot last year practicing karate. <laughs> Okay, cough. Mm -hmm. No, cough. Uh -huh. Well, what do we have here? Huh? Pull them up, Chris. You seem to be in pretty good shape to me. Yes, ma'am. And tell your friends to watch their kicks. How could you do that to me? I almost fainted. That yeah, well, felt great, though, didn't it? I suppose. Très bien. Now, tomorrow, you kick me in the nuts. And the next day, I'll get kicked. And then what? We can't get kicked in the nuts every day. She'll get suspicious. After that, we drown in the lake. Yeah, she gives great artificial respiration. Woo! Oh, Nurse Bridget, Nurse Bridget. Oh, I have a hernia. Oh, I have a hernia. Oh. I think we'll have to operate. <laughs> That's a miracle. I, I'm cured. <laughs> Phone the Vatican. Get Mother Teresa on the phone. It's amazing. Ready to pitch a little woo, son? Just about, Adams. How's this? Come, let us lodge with my fleas in the hills. Let's flee to my lodge in the hills. Think before you speak. I know that's a tough one for you, but give it a try. Oh, I'm depending on you, son. Well, you can count on me, Dad. Oh, yes, I know I can, Chadwick. are ruining the youth of this nation. Oh, well. Oh, boy. Bills, bills, bills. What did I ever do to deserve this, this camp? I hate uh, the sun, I hate the water, and I, I hate the outdoors, and... Boy, do I hate kids. See, sir? <laughs> don't, don't try the match wits with me, son. I fought in two wars and a, and a Sunday white sail. I got cat-like reflexes. <laughs> I, don't, I don't suppose you'd give me a hand, would you? I hope a nearsighted giant mistakes you for a tooth. toothbrush. Oh, my God! Mine, too! Simma! 
magnifique! They do this every day! They do? Yeah! I made a fortune on this machine last year. This kid really gets into her music. Not enough for moi. Maybe we could increase our involvement a little. How? Come with me. Bump and Grind's greatest hit. Woo! I call it mood music. Great. And you're just gonna sneak right over there, put the tape in their PA system in time for their exercises, right? Okay. Nope. We're gonna sneak in and do it. Oh, no. I was afraid he was gonna say that. Okay, we'll wait until dark and... Not a canoe again. You got a better idea? Would chartering a plane be out of the question? Okay, mean machine, it's time for physical fitness. Now, is everybody fit? Yeah. Okay, fine. If nobody has any objections, let's turn these daily get-togethers into something more useful. Okay. Now, most of you guys' voices have changed. I mean, you don't talk like Minnie Mouse anymore, right? Right. right. Well, now what do you boys think about most of the time? Now, come on. You're not fooling anybody. You all think about chicks, right? You know, women, girls, uh, babes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, if that's what's on your mind, you're in luck. For I, Lalo Nardine, am the author of the best-selling book, How to Pick Up Chicks. <laughs> and for the paltry sum of $5, I'll be giving you a copy of this invaluable book and then turning our daily encounters into lessons of romance. <laughs> By the end of the summer, you'll all be practicing Don Juans. <laughs> but hey, just don't take my word for it. Here's a few quotes from a few of my satisfied customers. Oh. Guess they were too busy to talk. <laughs> Anyhow, who wants to sign up for class? Let us flee to my lodge in the hills. Come. Let us flee to my lodge in the hills. Come. Let us lodge with my fleas in the hills. Let us lodge with my fleas in the hills. Flee to my lodge in the hills. How many times have I told you kids not to play football near my office? How many times have I told you kids not to play basketball near my office? How many times have I told you kids not to throw grenades at kick grenades? <laughs> Cats and dogs. I take it you're not doing well with the Bassett girl. Cargo, boo! Me fly. I need that land, Chadwick. I need it badly. I know you'll do your part, son. Now, if you're not out of my sight in five seconds, I'll have you thrown in irons. No irons to... Permanent breath. Oh, yeah. Ew, what's this? What do we eat? Oh. This time we can't miss. Wind power. You 
see, I figured out the wind patterns of the lake and then calculated the distance. Not again. We, we better blow. Hey, Og, do lakes have sharks? I can handle this. I saw the film in 3D. What's this, son? Shark fin soup, sir. Shark? What are you doing, son? Ten years to life. Enter. I want my money back. Why? I have a complaint. What is it? Do you know who snuck into my bunk at 2 o'clock this morning? No, who? No one. That's my complaint. I'm young. I want hot cha cha. I'll never make any money out of this camp. I mean, hock up to my eyeballs. I wish I was back to picking pockets again. Uh, come in. Mr. Bassett? Yes? I'm Helga Sneed from the Department of Delinquent Taxes. Ah, uh, uh, yes, uh, Mr. Sneed, I, I thought you'd be coming. There is a little matter of back taxes. But you don't seem to understand. I was not the owner of this camp when those, ta when those taxes were due. All I know is what's on your computer cards, Mr. Bassett. And since you are legally the owner of this property, you are legally responsible for its debts. Well, isn't there some way... I could get an extension. I'm sure by the end of the season, we will have turned a very tidy profit. You see, what I'm trying to do is, uh, is upgrade the camp, improve the facilities, attract a better element. Well, I'm afraid that that decision isn't up to me, Mr. Bassett. Well, who is it up to? I beg your pardon? I, I said, who is it up to? Well, of all the... <laughs> w wait a minute, I didn't say anything. I have never been so insulted in all my life. Now, see what you did with your artsy-fartsy stuff. I'm ruined. Hi, I'm Chadwick Skinner. I'm young, handsome, and rich. You're interested, right? Wrong. Do you know that you're quite attractive? Do you know that you have beautiful eyes? Do you know that you have sexy legs? Do you know that you have a fantastic body? Do you know you left the brake off your car? Disappointed in you, son? You're pathetic. This Bassett girl should be a pushover for you. Can't you be romantic? Can't you remember the way I used to act with your mother? Can't you behave like this with this young woman? You want me to hit her? No, woo her. Who? Woo, 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 wo
know about this Nardine guy. Me neither. I mean, the girls in his book are all pretty. It was that vice doesn't seem too hot. Gives him off your intent. Yeah, but how about his pickup ones? Do you go shopping here often? Is this your yogurt? Was that your dog I hit? Was that your five dollars I got stripped off? It seems to me that if you really want to impress a girl, you have to say something sincere. How do you know, mademoiselle? Want to do it? Give me a break. That was sincere. Hey, Chris, here's your chance to be sincere. doesn't usually ask a woman things like that anymore. Men are supposed to be chivalrous. Who says? Sir Walter Scott. Didn't you ever read Ivanhoe? Just the cliff notes. Where do you want your melons? <laughs> they're not melons today. They're workout weights. <laughs> oh. Adventurous male, it's mucho, macho, calo. That's it. Macho, macho, I'm a macho man. Macho, macho, I'm a macho man. shalt not have strange gods before me. I am the Lord thy God. Thou shalt not have strange gods before me. Only one of these bushes is the true voice of the God of the Old Testament. The others are shogging that face. Right now we're going to show us to the audience exactly which what are you doing. Why, what are you doing with me? I'm a union guy, what? Hey, not mingling with the troops tonight, Chief? Sit down, certainly. <laughs> so tell me, just why do you hate kids, Bass Baby? Why do I hate kids? Let me tell you, son. Hey, what's going on? Well, it's either a nuclear war or a flashback. Oh, for a minute there, I was getting worried. It all started 50 years ago. I was a jockey then, with my whole life ahead of me. My career seemed assured when... Paul told me he found another woman. I didn't know what to do. My first thought was suicide. So was my second. Well, now, when you get a third, you might tell me what the heck you're doing here. I'm telling the story of my life. Not now, you're not. This is my flush, uh, flashback. The room was cheap, dingy. I didn't like the looks of any of them. Not the dame, not the mug, not the pony. Hey, wait a minute. What's that horse doing my flashback? Your, your flashback? This is my flashback. You're both in my living room. It may be your living room, doll face, but this is my story. There's a step behind this door that'll prove it. After leaving the desert, I headed east. Only time and a lot of bandages could make me forget Cleopatra. <laughs> I'm not sure I understand, sir. Well, the moral of, the moral of the story is don't sniff airplane glue when you're young. It's, it's bad for your memory. And incidentally, I've been having a terrible time with my memory. I can't remember one thing from one second to the next. 
How long have you had that problem? What problem? This is it. Camp Bountiful. Let's go. in the window for moi. Forget it. Jennifer, your dear grandmother <laughs> would have been very proud of you. Here it is. I've had this camp for three weeks and already I'm three years in debt. I don't think I'll ever be able to pay them off. I can't even hire the extra staff I need. Well, Granddad, have I got a big surprise for you. What's that? I found a new martial arts instructor. He's really good. He used to work with Bruce Lee, and he'll stay the whole summer for free because he likes children. Who is this Marvel? His name's Wo. Wo Luck. There he is. Wo. Oh, Wo. Wo, Wo. Oh, Wo. Granddad, this is Wo. Wo, this is Granddad. Hello, Wo. Up the way, Granddaddy. We'll teach short white people to break many bones and recapture farmland from Emperor. Well, what do you think? I think I'll kill myself and avoid a last-minute rush. Okay, men. You've just gotten through the advanced seminar. And in conclusion, legal secretaries and elementary school teachers are to be avoided at all costs. Whereas stewardesses... <laughs> stewardesses are a yes. Always. Got it? Got it! Good. Now let's review some of those great turn-on lines. After me. You look exactly like someone I once knew. You look exactly like someone I once knew. Hey, what's your sign? I knew it. Hey, what's your sign? I knew it. Aren't you glad Elton John is performing again? Aren't you glad Elton John is performing again? I don't even know anyone with herpes. I don't even know anyone with herpes. If I give you a dollar, will you sit on my face? If I give you a dollar, will you... No, 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 wait a minute. Who said that? Who said that? No, no, stop repeating already. No, stop repeating already. 
The class is stupid. The class is stupid. Now, with these lines I've given you, you're bound to score like crazy. <laughs> Any questions? What's the speed of light? Shouldn't you be in shuffleboard class or something? Now, look. Look, guys. You're my advanced team. You paid the extra dollar. Now, just for you primo practitioners of the Lalo Nardine how to pick up chicks method, I have a special offer. Tell them about it, Johnny. That's right, Lalo, a special offer. For an extra two bucks, you lucky students will be guided on a field trip. Yes, a field trip to a local singles bar where in one evening you will get a chance to practice all the moves you spoke of in your lessons. Your two bucks will provide you with transportation, a phony ID, and a special Lalo Nardine Magnum P.I. mustache. Now back to you, Lalo. That's right, Johnny. So, what do you say, sports? Whose game? You got two bucks? I'm tired of this stuff. Do you think this is on the level? Pete's going to bed early. You coming, Chris? Nah. Is there any guarantee on this deal? Hey, don't worry. You won't regret this, Ogilvy. Hey, Trez Smart, Francoise. Uh, you sure you want to do this, Chisholm? Yeah. I mean, you didn't pay too much attention in class, you know. So what? Okay, one quick question. Uh, see the girl of your dreams. You want her to notice you. So what do you do? Spit on her. Uh, close enough, okay? Uh, meet me here after dark, guys, and I'll have your phony IDs and mustaches ready. Well, here we are, guys. The meat rack. What's that terrible noise? Hey, that's bar music, and you better get into it. Everything okay with you, Francoise? Oui, but of course. Hey, how about Spitz? Where's Spitz? Spitz! Hey. Oh, what are you doing? Spitz! 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 Earth, Earth or Spitz? Earth or Spitz? What are you doing? Sniffing glue again? No, oh, it's sniff all nice to do it. Okay, I want you to go wait in the car, okay? I want you to go wait in the car. You got it? Wait in the car. Car in the wait. Some mother, some mother going. We should have adopted. Uh, why can't he get into something normal like alcohol? So, you ready to go in? Yeah, let's do it. Say anything you want and score. Because they're so blitz, they can't do it. <laughs> so let's take our glasses and let's go mingle. I think it's best if we all split up. Now don't sweat it. Just do everything I do and you'll be all right. I'm a man. You're a woman. Why don't we go somewhere and do what comes naturally? I didn't know he can fly. He looks so peaceful. He's gonna be that way for a while. Think we should mingle until he comes to? But of course. Excuse me? Yes? Are you busy tonight? No, why? I'm just checking by. 
Jennifer, I know there's a difference in our ages, but I really and truly love you. I'll just come up and tell her. I mean, what can she do? Maybe she'll laugh. Maybe she'll cry. I hope she doesn't throw up. Okay, it's decided. I'll walk right up to her and say, Jennifer, I love you. What are you going to do about it? Oh, hi, Chris. Hi. Did you want something? I was just working out. No, no, no. Honest, not me. Didn't mean to bother you. Just passing by. Bonjour, mama. What's a nice mademoiselle doing in a place like this? No, I mean it. I feel that who has met more someplace before. Votre side? Who has such a beautiful smile? Are you from around here? Who is your hometown? Paris. Parlez-vous français? Vous êtes un très joli homme. Shit. I mean, I never really had a girlfriend, you know, or something. You know, it, it just might be nice to take a girl out or something. And, you know, we could go for a burger or go to a restaurant or something. And I could take you home and, or something. You don't have to worry. I wouldn't try anything out of the first date. Don't worry. My car's out back. Want to go fool around? <laughs> What happened to you? Nothing, Madam. French is the language of love. Who wanna split? Yeah, this place bores me. Violate doors. Hey, we can't leave without Lalo. See that chick, she couldn't keep her hands off me. Hey, did I tell you this place was hot or what? Huh? <laughs> things, world peace, life after death, men. Men? What about men? A rotten species. Most men are out for one thing. They never respect you as a human being. Oh, I do. I think you're a great human being. Well, that's sweet of you. I always see my dream queen. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I mean, now you're going to think I'm just like all the other guys, just wanting your body. I mean, I like your body. I like it a lot. I mean, calm down, Chris. I like you, too. You do? Yeah, you're one of the sweetest boys I know. Well, what I mean is, you're chivalrous and kind and handsome, too. And if I were a few years younger, I'd be going bananas over you. But I'm a little too old for you. So what do you say? Let's be pals, okay? Pals? Sure. I mean, that's all I really wanted to be in the first place. Right now, I need a good... Pow. <laughs> Chadwick, aren't we supposed to have a dance with those bottom out ruffians? Two, Dad. One at their camp and one at ours. Theirs is next week. Uh, we'll use that dance. Let the old man know what an inheritance his granddaughter will receive if she marries you. And you, you'll have to elope with her. But, Dad, she doesn't even like me. No, well, drug her. Maybe she'll think you're somebody else. We have to have that land, Chadwick. We'll have... We'll have a simple wedding. What about caterers, Dad? Local or from the city? Chadwick. Yes, Dad. I hate you. Thanks, Dad. A lot of parents take their kids for granted. Hey, Romeo. Who's that with Juliet? 
I don't know, but I don't think I like him. V, I can see why. He's handsome and older than you. Get lost. Oh, but it's the first big dance between camps. Can't you at least save me a few dances? It's four days away. Please. Oh, all right, I'll see you there. I got her now. Daddy will be so proud. I wonder what he meant by that. Let's find out. Hey, aren't we heading towards Camp Banneful? It looks that way. You mean we could have taken this road to Banneful all those nights? I risk being hit by a car. Are you crazy? Is your bike the same as mine? No, mine has the faster rider. Give us today our daily bread. Mr. Skinner! The kitchen staff is demanding shorter hours. Well, fine. We'll start by limiting the lunch hour to 20 minutes. Adams, I got her! <laughs> In broad daylight? No, no, she's speaking to me. She promised to dance with me. I can drug her with these and then drive off with her. Excellent. Excellent. I'll convince the old man that my buying the property as a wedding present to the eloping couple is the proper thing to do. Then the next day, I'll have a press conference and announce the new acquisition. and don't drink so much today. Please. You know there's a big dance tonight. Okay, honey, I'll have one more. M maybe two or three. You know you've been hitting it pretty heavily lately. I counted 18 empty whiskey bottles in your cabin. Well, honey, they couldn't belong to Granddaddy because I never bought an empty whiskey bottle in my life. <laughs> Camp Bottom Up. <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, 
that's uh, physically impossible. <laughs> All that for 25 bucks. That's amazing. <laughs> I want you to do me a big favor. Go someplace, any place, and find me a little dog. Just a little funny looking dog, okay? Okay. Position or a description? Mr. Bassett, I'm a net General Motors. Not that I care, but where's your hubby, the rich? Very rich. General Motors. Why, he's dead. Albert is just using that as an excuse. Yes, indeed, I too may be alone soon once Fido departs. You're getting rid of your pet? Oh, yes. I make the little children sneeze. <laughs> we can't risk making the little tights ill on my account. I must leave my beloved master at once. Why, that dog talked. Oh, yes, yes. Fido and I have been chatting together for years. Why, I suppose anybody who bought that dog would become a cause celebre. Oh, yes, and famous, too. How much are you asking? He is priceless. The notoriety this dog will bring to his new owner will rival Hollywood stardom. What would you say to something in the neighborhood of $1,000? I would say that's a lovely neighborhood, and it looks like you've bought Fido. <laughs> well, goodbye, old chum. Just for this indignity, I'm never going to call him again. Oh, he's a stubborn little cuss. Probably means that, too. Yes, Bugs and I have been chatting for years. <laughs> well, you can say that again. <laughs> what, 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 what? I almost got her, Dad. By the end of the night, she'll be so loaded, she won't even know her own name. <laughs> Fine. You get the Bassett girl, and then I'll work on the father. I'll give him the check tonight. <laughs> the man appears to be a dolt. So the girl can't be much brighter either. What's <laughs> going on? Tomorrow night, I'll own that camp. <laughs> Get up, you perverted preppy. I've got an overwhelming desire to alter your topography. Your brutality will get you nowhere. Oh, no? Well, watch it get your kid in an intensive care ward. I accept full responsibility. And you, you dirty... I beg your pardon. If you wanted this land so much, why didn't you approach me directly? Well, I assumed you were a dedicated idealist and wouldn't sell. Oh, no? How much? 200,000 cold cash. 500,000 hot cash. <laughs> Three hundred thousand. That's hot enough. Looks like you bought yourself a summer camp, Skinner. I'll get you to the deed tomorrow. In the meantime, get Joe College out of here before I throw him out. Three hundred thousand dollars. You're a hero. I think it's great of you not giving in just because the rich, Mr. Basset. No, go home. Me stay here. Uncle Hardy, thanks for saving the camp. We wouldn't have no place to go if you sold it. Count me in, big guy. If this swamp, this barren piece of dungland means enough to you to punch out someone that can sue the pants off you, it <laughs> means as much to me. Just say the word. And that other camp's history. I sold the camp. I sold the camp. The what? I, I, I took Skinner's check. Oh, my 
Granddad, how could you? Look, kid, with this money, I can, I, I can buy a new brick for you to throw at me. I, I can buy dozens of bricks, a whole wheelbarrow full. Look, why don't you hit me right now? That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Look, come, come on. Come on, hit me. Hit me, uh, I deserve it. Give it the old college try. Come on, kid, hit me right in the noggin, right here. Come on, go ahead. Maybe I should hang a bell around my neck. Okay, you've made your point. I was wrong. I admit it. I never thought I'd say this to anyone, but all of you have proven something to me. Money isn't everything. It comes close, but... Well, anyway, I think I've grown fond of you and this place, even though it doesn't have a casino. And I was wrong to... Try to exchange the warmth and caring we have for $300,000. Anyway, I'll call Skinner and give him his money back. We'll make this camp work without his dough. today, not to mention noodles of money. <laughs> hello? Oh, hello, Mr. Bassett. But say, no, he's already gone. I mean, the deal's off. It can't be. Adam's is going to make the announcement. You have the check. You can't rip it up. You did rip it up? He ripped it up. Hello? Mr. Hello? He hung up. So, you see, the Acme Cheese Company it's going to open this big cheese factory in Jerusalem. Do you understand? Yes, sir. And they're going to call it Cheeses of Nazareth. Now, I suppose I'll get blamed. The whole deal is going to fall through. Unless... 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 Unless what? Unless we can convince Mr. Bassett not to keep his laugh. How can I do that? He doesn't seem to care about money. All he cares about are his camp and his granddaughter. Suppose the bit, the granddaughter disappears. 
disappeared until after the deal. Where is she going to disappear to? Here. I did it. We'll kidnap the granddaughter and release her unharmed only if Bassett agrees to the deal. How melodramatic. How dumb. How inspired. How'd you ever think of something like that? I watched Dallas. Boy, TV sure is educational. Okay, I'll kidnap her. You'll hurt my feelings. Help! Jennifer! Jennifer! Help! Jennifer! Help! Can you can you catch that car? I'll do my best, sir. Out. Consider discussing this a bit before writing that ticket, would you? And this is the gas. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to unveil this giant cake, a model of our dreams, Skinnerville. the announcement we've all been waiting for. As you are aware, we have been attempting to acquire a certain piece of property located on the banks of the scenic rank lake. Here. I was just about to announce our deal. Too late, Skinner. Granddad ripped up your check. That's right. Mr. Bassey will never sell you bottom out. What, what the boy is trying to say, ladies and gentlemen, is that I would never want to make a profit from a, a transaction such as this. It's obvious you want this land for perfectly altruistic reasons. Uh, now, what kind of a person would I be to want to make a pro profit 
at your expense. So, at the end of the season, we'll just trade camps. Ordinary... Bountiful. Bountiful for valuable by the mouth. Oh, no. Thank you. 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 It's time to discuss your trip to Siberia, young man. So keep in touch, eh? Yeah, I'll see you in the city. I hope I didn't pester you too much this summer. Don't be silly, Chris. You are my knight in shining armor. Well, I hope I'll be able to come to the new camp next summer. And I'm sorry I came on to you. No, I mean, I'm not sorry I came on to you. I'm sorry I'm too young for you. Chris, you know what? Next summer, you'll be a whole year older. can't believe the summer's over already. Quite eventful, wasn't it? That was a great con you pulled, Granddad. Oh, and my last, too, honey. I learned my lesson. From now on, it's the straight and narrow. Oh, I bet. How much? <laughs> Just kidding. Do you think Skinner will build them all over here, Granddad? I hardly think so, honey. This land is protected by the government, especially that part way over there. I understand there's an endangered species of some kind there, and they can't disturb them. What kind? I don't know. I've never seen one. You think it'll mine a parking garage right next to its cave? Just shut up, Chadwick, and run! <laughs> <laughs> 